Hello, hello. Welcome to another episode of Brenda and the Serial Starter. Today is Sunday, February 4th, and we are here today surrounded again by so much stitchy goodness, it makes our hearts sing. Yes. 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 And it's the sunshine is out. Oh, I know. So we have very good lighting. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's a great day. It great is. Day. We have lots to talk about. We do. And the first thing I want to show you is very, very exciting. My friend Jody is a linen dyer, and her company is Cedar River Linen and Design. And whenever you get linen from her, it comes in this very cool tissue paper, which I love. She's very um, conscientious of the environment. She is. Yes. And she has three new colors, and we are here to show them to you in this wonderful sunlight. And I got some too. Yes. Um, but Laura got all hers out so she can show. Yes. The first one is the wonderfully named Coffee Stain, which I just love that. And this is this is the 4E count, and this is Coffee Stain. It's so pretty. Peak. Brenda and I are already it's, have uh, things in mind to stitch on these. Yes. Yes. So that's yeah, Coffee Stain. And it's a true picture. Yeah. It, with the light today, it's really good. Really good, yeah. Here, I'll fold it for Yay. you while you come on. Okay, next up, we have 40 Count Spindrift. I love that name. Yes, and Spindrift is a real word, and you go look it up, because I, I can't remember exactly, but it's it's for people that are, live near oceans and things. They'll really know what Spindrift is. It's a gorgeous, mm -hmm. like, like, not stark white, but... No, a muted, yeah. a muted white. Perfect for samplers. Mm-hmm. Well, all of these are. Yes. Okay, so that's Spindrift. And her third one, her third new color is called Maple Bar. I love Count this Maple one. Bar. Yeah. Love it. And here's Maple Bar. I love that. Isn't that so great? Much. Yes. So, um, so much. The cute thing about Maple Bar is that um, whenever I go to Jody's house, you know, when I'm at my dad's and I visit Jody, um, she always gets maple bars for us from this um, bakery. She has to get up at like 6 in the morning to get them because they sell out every day. Oh, my gosh. And they're so good. And the first year we went to her house, um, Becca and I only ate one or two. We were trying to be polite. <laughs> the next year I ate three, and then the next year we ate a lot and took some home with us. So <laughs> we're very fond of the maple bar. So here they are all together. They're gorgeous. Coffee stain, spin drift, and maple bar. Look at that. That's beautiful. The way they're I know. sitting there. Yeah. I know. They're gorgeous. I'm yes. so glad we have a good day of light yes. here. Yes. So her website is Cedar River Linen and Design. And you can go there and she has them in all the counts that you would need. I think she even has 46 and maybe Something crazier than that. I don't know, but go look. They're gorgeous. Are they? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yes. Yeah, so thank I already you, have a project in mind, which Ooh. I will show you today. Oh, good. This really? is going to be perfect. Yes. Oh. I'm going to use the maple bar. Oh, that's so exciting. Okay. That was just a whoo. Woo. When, it, when Laura showed them to me. Okay. I was that's like, great. Wow. I can't wait to see yeah. which yeah. one that is. Okay. What have you been working on? Well, why don't you go first? Okay. So that I can Diet Coke myself. Okay. Um,. Here is my, I got this, Ooh, first pretty. of all, this beauty I bought from Lisa, Crimson Greenway. She's now in the Primitive Handmade Mercantile that is on Facebook, and you go there at the third Thursday of every month, I think it's 8 Eastern time. Anyways, she's a vendor on there, mm. and she has That's this. gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. yeah, she's very talented. So. And you can still see in oh, here. Is that what it's for? Yeah, it's for your book of days. And this is that graphic from those uh, forged scissors that I showed last week. That's where I put that because I think that's so cool. That Anyways, is neat -o. So I got my act together yesterday and I did some stickering. Oh, how cute. For February. And I even put some stuff in for June for Flag Day. Mm. Those came from Katie. 
and one for the 4th of July, same one. And then she gave us another one. Oh, that's gorgeous. I had to put back here. Anyway, so what have I been working on? Okay, get to the point, Brenda. No, we don't, we like segues and meanderings. Okay. And, well, when I left you last, I was working on Martha Evans. And mm, I did work sale. a little bit more on it. I got down to below the um, bunny, started the rows, and then. Now, let me just say, and I will pull it out in a minute. Remember I talked about that beeswax? Yeah. Running your thread through that. That's such a game changer for me. Really? Such a game changer. It makes the 103s act like cotton. It oh. does not have any static electricity. It doesn't, really? Yes. It's just... Awesome, awesome, oh. awesome, awesome. And you just run it through, uh -huh. and then I run it down my fingers twice just to make sure there's no clumps. Gunk. Yeah, gunk. Uh, so, okay, anyway, so, so we're you're, done you're now a beeswaxer? Yes. Person? I'm a beeswaxer. Wow. Now, when you go to a retreat, are you going to bring beeswax? Yes. Oh, I can't I wait to see this. Wow. Well, I'll show you in a minute Okay. when I was working on it. So okay. then I pulled out this mm -hmm. because the new small has been released by Hobby House, and it's a mattress pin cushion. Yeah. So I thought I better get my acting gear and get going on this. So I did, and this calls for the same colors as the drum which is shown on the back, and it'll be the same as that sampler. I love that sampler. So I did quite a bit on this, and this Ooh, is where I'm at. So pretty. I love those colors. Mm -hmm. This is Thornfield by Needle mm -hmm. and Flax. And what was really great um, is that they charted it for all different thread, um, thread counts. So you've got 40. I can't show it so to you. So it'll 46, fit. yes. Oh. Um, 32 and 36. Oh, that's nice. Now just pay attention because I was looking at the 46 and I thought, I have really screwed up. I was so annoyed because I'm looking at, you know, matching points and everything. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, I was looking at the wrong chart. So oh. make sure you pay attention. They've clearly got it labeled, you know, as what chart it is. And it comes oh. in this nice That's folder. Nice. So, anyway, so Did you have to change out. anything then? No. Oh, okay. No, they have it all graphed out. No, but like, because you were stitching from Oh, the no, no. Okay. I caught it before all right, I... good. Phew. Before I had to yell some foul language. Mm. So, anyways. Then... I pulled out what's oh that goes there. I pulled out something from the Words of Wisdom. And I saw Terry working on this in November at Hobby House, the retreat with Nicola. And she had it all finished. She started it there and finished it there. It's crazy. <laughs> Anyways, it's this. Work with care. Elizabeth oh, Ebert. And I am using 40 count, 40 count mason linen, haberdashery light. Mm. And I love this. I love it. And I am using the 103s. And here's my oh, beeswax. Okay. So it's in this little container. Yeah. I got this from Debbie's Stitching when I ordered a bag. Uh-huh. And she sent this, so oh. you can see how I've, the edges are really. Mm -hmm. Now, do you take it out of the container? Yes, I take it out of the container. And like just set it by your side while you're stitching. Right. So here, oh, I can't pull this, but I just take uh -huh. it like this and run it down. Yeah. And then I use, whoops, well, that's good. Uh -huh. Hang on. Then I just take the th thread. Yeah. And run it through my fingers mm -hmm. like this. I do that twice. Mm -hmm. And then not it's... three times, not once, twice. <laughs> and then that's it. And it is really just oh, like so cotton. Just okay, like that's... cotton. It it makes it so easy 
to work with. They're, I'm not unthreading my needle. Mm. Um, I'm not getting it caught on my thumb. Okay. Um, nothing. It's just, and I love these colors. Yeah, they're pretty. Do you think that you would do the beeswax if you're using other types of silk? Um, depends. Yeah. It depends. You can use, I used to use the beeswax when, um, years ago. It was not, I didn't use beeswax. I used Thread Heaven. Mm -hmm. When I was stitching with, um, Perlay, mm -hmm. I can, certain things. Mm -hmm. Krynic, mm -hmm. I would use that with it. But I hadn't used Thread Heaven in years. But mm -hmm. this came very, All right, that's so cool. this is almost done. It's going to be really small. Darling. And I have an idea for it. It's not going to get framed. Oh. Um, and okay. So, so we'll stand by for that idea? Yes. Okay. Stand by. Then this is what I want to start on Jody's new fabric. Oh, this. Oh. Because it's the same, you know, all different kinds of colors. Yeah. Both of these charts, by the way, are by Hands Across the Sea. But they were in the Words of Wisdom box. So they are not going to be available um, and, unless you got that box. I love this. And I'm going to do the same thing with this as I'm doing oh, with this. So okay. to be continued. Okay. But I love that. And that's a look perfect on that color. Yeah. Oh, well, that's exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, so, anyhow. Okay. That's what I have been working on. Okay. So... Yeah, that's that. Okay. All what right. What about you? Well, this is what I've been doing with myself. I have continued on with my uh, pulling assignments. out. Well, I finished all my January assignments. I think, yeah, those are all done. And um, I fin kept on pulling some old things, and I finished two more. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then I started something from the Words of Wisdom box. Oh, good. Okay. Was it one of those two? It was not. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Good. Anyway, so here we have January. And then, let's see. I don't think I wrote in February yet. I didn't really, I wasn't really cognizant of, wow, it's February. <laughs> so I got to catch up. I was because it was a huge tax deadline oh. on the 31st. And oh, birth. Yeah. Birth. Okay. My life is ruled by that. And stitching. Yeah, I'll okay. get to that. Okay. Needlework oh, Press. I love this one. You George so and Hannah Ashmore. I finally finished it. Yeah. I'm so happy. I am. Yeah, me too. So, here's... Are you going to get it framed? Yes. Okay. Definitely. Oh, boy. And I can have some yes. extra fabric, too. So, here she is. Oh, it looks beautiful, Laura. Isn't that great? It was so mm. much fun. Aren't so you wondering fun. why you didn't... Um, finish it. Yeah, I ago, think the only reason did. I didn't finish it is because I'm, uh, you know, affected by the squirrel and every new thing, and I just get so hepped up. But I'm finding a lot of calming comfort in like just not getting all the next thing, the next thing, just kind of like paying attention as I go. We'll see how long it lasts, but you know, you're being yeah. deliberate and intentional. Oh, which is new for me. Let me tell you. It's okay. So it's we've good. got that. It's yeah. nice to know, too, like you said before with something, you knew when you got off work and you were going to go home and I was knew going, exactly right. what you were going to work on. I'm and not going to waste excited. an hour faffing about with things. Yes. You know? Okay. All right. Then I pulled out another oldie but goodie that I had started a long time ago. Oh. Oh. In fact, I think I wrote it down when I started it. Oh, yeah, it might be in my book. Whatever. This is by Pineberry Lane, and it's Elizabeth Ravenscroft. Pineberry Lane has some amazing samplers. Mm -hmm. You should go look at the website and see everything that she's done yeah. because it's just gorgeous. I stitched it on 40-count uh, linen, that uh, Victorian motto color called Sampler. Mm-hmm. And... Well, you know, should have ironed, but, you know. It's okay. So you totally did. So you just left off the over one, which is. I did. Who cares? I did leave off yes. the over one. Just so you could get it done. Yes. Good for you. Looks great. Yeah. Isn't it sweet? Yeah. And the color is really showing great. Yeah. And I 
don't know, what did I use? Oh, I used the call for over dye. Those are pretty. Yeah. It's real pretty. It's very sweet. It's that Victorian. Oh, yeah, you yeah. said that. Duh. Yeah. Yeah. That was two seconds ago. Mm hmm Short-term memory yes. problems. Yes. Okay, so that one I want to get framed also. Good. And then, sorry, you know. <laughs> Thank you. And then I started something from the Words of Wisdom box by Hands Across the Sea, and it was, oh, Lost by Mrs. Salmond, 1897. I just love this. Brenda can do a reading for us. Okay. Lost. Somewhere between sunrise and sunset, two golden hours, each set with 60 diamond minutes. No reward is offered, for they are lost forever. <gasps> I love that. <gasps> so, did you use the call for it? Uh, no, I didn't. What I did was, I had um, a bunch of 103s that were for Ann Thomas, which mm -hmm. I doubt that I'll ever finish. Mm -hmm. So I just went through them and picked a blue. It's 103, it's number something. 018. 018. This is so much fun to stitch, I can hardly stand it. Oh, yes. It's like easy stitching. Yes. Yeah, comfort stitching. This is on the same piece of linen that I did Elizabeth Ravenscroft on, so it's that oh, Victorian, Victorian model. model. Yeah. But obviously you can pick any, any linen that you yes. want, because it, it'll go anything. It's so much fun. I love it very much. I love much. that too. Love this. Oh, I'm I'm glad that you did a different one. We're gonna go through the box today, mm -hmm. or the charts. I don't have the box. I put all the charts in a berry bag. So <clears throat> yeah. Oh, I'd love so, that. Yeah. Very fun. Yes. So that's what I've been working on. Very good. Mm -hmm. Um, I just want to back up for a minute. We got some comments last week on the conversion for that Anna Morgan that I did by oh, yeah. Scattered Seed Samplers. And I'm going to read the numbers, but I will insert tomorrow oh. in our drop-down menu. Ooh, fancy. Yes, oh. I need a laptop to do it. Oh, okay. It's easier on a laptop. So hmm. I have to wait okay. till I get to work. I will do it first thing. Anyway, so I'm going to read the numbers. These are the numbers for the flower thread. You can easily match them up as to where they go. It's, once you see the colors, you'll be able to do that. So it's 409 so I will put those in our show notes tomorrow. That'll be the first thing ever that went in our show notes. No, I've done other things. Oh, have you? Oh, yes. I'm so sorry. Yes. <laughs> so sorry. We know how to do it. It's that it takes a long time to put everything in there. And the people who do it, I give them credit. Yes. I just don't want notch. to take the time yeah. to do it. Yeah. So anyways, mm -hmm. a couple people asked... Someone messaged me, so those are the numbers, and and I can here I can hold them up if you want to take a screenshot. Oh, screenshots! Woo! <laughs> there you go. Okay. Okay. Excellent. So, excellent work. That's that. Okay. What else do we have? We have a lot. Okay. Let's you go see. because I don't have a lot. So. Oh my gosh. You continue. I'm just going to, you know, take stuff from the top, as they say okay. in showbiz. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I placed an order from Team Egner on Etsy. That's Tina. Remember mm -hmm. last time Brenda got these cool alphabet yes. ones, floss, floss drops? And she got me a set. Well, you remember I gave those to my mom? Yes. She was excited. Very oh, excited good. yesterday. Good. Um, so I got a set of those. And then in my Christmas, you know, musings, I got a set of sleigh rides. And, and Laura got me a set I gave of Brenda these. the candy cane since she gave me some last time. Aren't those oh, sweet? they're so Tina's cool. Tina's drops are just beautiful. Yeah. This just one, beautiful. that one's all the same candy yes. canes. This one has a few different things yes. in it. 
I love them. And then she puts just the right size um, binder mm -hmm. ring and a little charm. Cute, cute. So she's Team Egner, E-G-N-E-R on mm -hmm. Etsy. Mm -hmm. And um, our friend Liz, who's doing the Friday Night with Friends lives on Instagram, had Tina as her guest. Yeah, Friday I night. Didn't, wasn't able to watch it. So you can go Friday, back and watch so it. Go back and watch mm -hmm. it. Yep. Yes, very fun. Yes. Hopefully you watched mine. I did. When I was on. I did. <laughs> we were funny. <laughs> okay. How many whips? Well, there's no need to know yeah, that. There's no need for that kind of pressure. <laughs> I was dying. Really? <laughs> okay, good. Oh, all right. <laughs> we received our beautiful uh, monthly club linen from mm -hmm. Fox and Rabbit. Mm -hmm. It's Milky Way. I love that name. Yes. And so here's that beautiful color. We are very lucky to yes. know. We are very lucky to know the people we know. Yes. Oh, here, I'll fix that for you. Thank you. I got mine too, but I put mine away. And both of them, to save on postage, they're both come here. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. We don't need that. Then, oh, then we received a beautiful present. Where's your, do you have that note still? Oh, thanks. You said, you said, are you sure you don't need this? No, I don't need this. No, but I need it. Deanna from Vintage Cottage Stitches. She's a bag maker and a stitcher. Um, she, on Instagram, she's Vintage Cottage Stitches and the same on Etsy. Well, she sent this amazing bag to me for my Christmas stitching. Can you believe this? Gorgeous. Just this gorgeous. is so, so, so cute. Oh, I love it. Quilting. I, love him. And I know. I applique. I mean, this is this is hard. Yeah. Anyway, I saw that she has this in her shop. And she sent one, sent a bag to Brenda, which is also just amazing. Stitching time is my time. Is that not that. cool? And look at those little bullion flowers. Just in the back of your bag. Me and clocks. If you ever come to my house. Yeah. That's true. I forgot. Yeah. And then she included these really cool wooden floss drops. Yeah. These are super cool. Yeah, they're very cool. And you, she put a label because she sent one, um, a label on them so that you could yeah. MC413. Yeah. And you could, um, I'm sure, remove this label and put another number on there. So that's super cool. Thank you so much, Deanna. This yes. is amazing. Very, very, very nice. Thank you so much I love for these bags. bags. So Vintage Cottage, Cottage Stitcher. Stitches. Stitches. Yes. So that was very, very, very exciting. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Um... I decided, well, my friend Audrey and I are both going to take Mrs. Parkman's Needlework Academy class on this. Now, of course, I was at the workshop, and I should have already mastered the queen stitch, but I have not. So, um, Nicola has an online class for this. You can buy the class and it'll come with a PDF for this Scottish sampler, Margaret Anderson, 1830. And she will go over all the specialty stitches in mm -hmm. this with you. So when I took the class, I got the 103s, but then I decided I really think I want to do this on 36 count with Soie Delger. And Audrey had purchased this from somebody who took the class and they had picked the swat del shake so i said let's do a swap of the silks. oh perfect right well it is almost perfect because i received hers and i sent hers like on january 23rd and she still hasn't gotten them from chicago to indianapolis eek anyway she, i'm hoping it, she gets some tracking this week. on it i have tracking on it where is it, it at in chicago of course it is. <laughs> so, hopefully it'll be coming soon 
I think I showed this before. These are the way she got the silks on these things. Little Robin. Um, that's where I first saw that. Um, yeah, with these things? Yes. Yes, they're hard to find. Are they? Yes. yes. Hmm. I love that. <laughs> Keep my hand off. the silk. Pick the silk. <laughs> okay. So, it was kitted with 40 count weeks mocha, which I still have. But, um... I asked Jody. I was talking to Jody about her new colors. I said, "Oh, well, maybe you have a brown in 36." Well, oh, she had coffee stain, her new one. Well, oh. I didn't get very far because it was Friday night and I went gallivanting with my mom yesterday, and so I haven't really started it. But um I'm going to be doing it on this. Oh, that's a nice conversion. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. So, um I've got the video to watch about 80 million times. And Nicholas' videos, instructional videos, are very good. You can slow them down. Watch them five yes. more times. Yes. Yeah. So, there's that. That's one thing that I shall be working on. And I'll be putting that in a better bag than this. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. I know. It's just kind of... Okay. Um yesterday mm -hmm. uh, my mom and I needed to spend an extended amount of time together so that we could test her hearing aids with her her new hearing aids with her app and everything in different conversational settings so we decided to go to house stitches <laughs> Um, that's good though that's yeah a, she that was okay so she good. was really hepped up because she needed some new Laguna and she needed some threads and things and she just she just really wanted to go there. So we started the day by uh, going to Cracker Barrel for breakfast. And then we headed over to LaPorte, Indiana, which is where my mom was born, actually, and went to House of Stitches. And we were there for four hours. <gasps> oh, my God. Yeah. Luckily, we had fuel from Cracker Barrel to keep us going all that time. So um, I've got some stuff to show you. Oh, good. The first thing I want to say is here's the House of Stitches card. House of Stitches has a new owner, Sarah, and she was so kind to us yesterday because she cut my mom's Laguna into shapes and, and like exactly to like this little bit. Oh, and the, that's you know. nice. She said the Lugana she can cut to size. Oh, Not, okay. You know, with hand dyed linen, you have to buy it in, you know, but mm -hmm. with the Laguna, you can... So she sat there for hours and cut little pieces for my mom, which oh, was very, very nice. That's great customer service. Yes. And this is the first year she's going to get to go to market. Oh. So she's excited about I that. I guess so. Oh, and another we thing. We need to go over there. Yeah, we well, we will Sometime be. we need to make and a And I want to bring uh, something to frame, too, because they've got lots of good frames. Yeah, we could take Kelly. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. And definitely. Me, your mom. Yeah. yeah. The four of us. Yes. And I want to go to that Mexican restaurant. Yeah. Mucho Mas. Yes. In La Porte. Great yes. Mexican food. Okay, continue on. <laughs> All right. So, um... Hmm. She well, cut your pieces. I'm yeah, sorry. she cut I, That's all right. That's all right. Everything's fine. Um, I wanted to also mention that... Uh, I met Carol there. Carol's from South Carolina, but her, she was visiting her daughter in West Lafayette. And her daughter agreed to drive her up there. Her daughter was waiting in the car. <laughs> Hopefully she wasn't getting too miffed. But um, Carol recognized me from our videos, which was like, oh. <laughs> it's like, Mom, look at this. It was pretty fun. <laughs> so hi to Carol. And then I also met Kenny, who is from Kokomo. And I found out he is a floss tube, Kenny Stitches. Oh, okay. Or Stitching, I can't remember. But um, it was very nice to meet him. So I'm going to watch his video. Oh, good. Anyway. That's fun. I didn't want to forget that. So that okay. was fun. So what I did was I brought a whole bag, this bag. Remember we got these? Yes. I love I love this bag. Yes. And this is a great book that From everybody Dawn. needs. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay, so I brought brought with me a bag of charts that I wanted to get threads for. So I did that, and my mom did basically the same. 
So one of them that I wanted to get threads for was by Pineberry Lane, and this is Sarah Barker. Isn't I've that... seen a lot of people finishing that lately. Yeah, did Kim Goldman just finish it, or it am could I making be. that up? She might be working on it. Yeah, because it's got a lot of pink. I yeah. have wanted to stitch this for a long time. Mm -hmm. I love it. So I got threads for that, mm -hmm. and then I got threads for a ship for Mary, which is by Heartstring Samplery. This is coming out now, but we got it, or I got it, when I got Kitten Stitcher Sampler Box. I've got that. Okay, mm -hmm. so I got that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you know what? See how the, this is the mm -hmm. original? That would look good on that Milky Way. I was just thinking that same thing, because mm -hmm. I was looking at this, I'm like, oh, I kind of like it like that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, same. It's fabulous. Okay, this, I gotta take this out of this bag, it's ugly. I got the threads for this, which I've been wanting to stitch for 80 years, even though the chart's only been out for two. Um, this is by Lottie Da. Mm -hmm. You have this, don't you? Mm -hmm. Needle book, needle book. Yeah, I mean, it was an exclusive to Silver Needle at one time. Oh, well, and I'm lucky it that we got it, that I got it then yes. now. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. I love that too. I, I love, love her. It. Lottie Da has a lot of scissor rolls and needle books, and they're just wonderful. I think our friend Pam has done um, several of those, and they're beautiful. The pictures don't do them justice. Okay, then I got the thread, most of the threads for uh, Helene Willems, 1817 by GGR. It's a Dutch sampler. Grace showed it on her channel. I was just going to say. I went nuts for the chairs chairs on each side and then what I did was I was like okay I'm getting the thread so I go down this lane then last night I'm like well that's all there is I realized there's a whole other lane criminy okay the lane <laughs> I got the threads for this fox and rabbit coming soon mm -hmm. this Dutch sampler that they gifted me the original so I can stitch this yes yeah. Isn't that exciting? Yeah, I want that when it comes out. Okay. Beautiful. And then last summer at summer school, this was the project that Linda Vinson based her uh, class project on. This was a sampler. And I love it. So, I uh, it's called Catherine Sherrar, 1829. It's Scottish. Yep. Now... This is what I did. They didn't have all of the called for colors. Like they did not have the called for blue or white. So I want to talk to Brenda a minute. Or the called for green. So hold that for a sec, will you? What, for blue, I got this. You think it's too purple now in this light? Yeah. It calls for Chester's blue. Yeah, I don't, I wouldn't use that. All right. For the white, they call yes. for something whiter than this. But I like this. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that icing? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I like that too. Okay. I w that's good. Okay. For the green, I forgot what they called for, but I got this. Because it looks muted. Yeah, weathered vine. Yeah, I, this is, I, yeah, this is fine. Okay. The only so, one I would change, I think this in the light looks too purple. Okay. That's just my opinion. Okay. Well, it says indigo, but. So anyway. Well, I can certainly use this for something and yes. blah, blah, blah. They're very pretty. Isn't that? I mean, you could use them all together. Yeah. You know, and just go with a more purpley blue. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. This would look good on that. Um, not... The maple bar? Yes. Coffee stain? I think maple yes. bar. Yeah, that would look really pretty on that. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. I need to pull that out. I know. Isn't it cool? Mm -hmm. I love Scottish samplers. And Linda does most of the, her summer school stuff. It's, it's based yes. on Scottish samplers. The one the year yes. before was amazing, too. I wanted to do and that. And she's got two new little ones I coming saw out. Those. Beautiful. Out. Beautiful. I saw them on Facebook. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I got to talk about that. Oh, and I got the threads for this. Oh, that. Isn't yes. that so sweet? The Robins Are Here by With Thy Needle and Thread. Mm -hmm. I mean, seriously, that is so cute. Can I just inter interrupt yes, for please. something? 
If you are a big um, Brenda Gervais fan, like I am, mm -hmm. um, Jessica Sweetwater Stitcher mm -hmm. did a floss tube, her recent one, of all her Brenda Gervais whips. It was wonderful. Ooh, she had ironed them that. all. Oh. She did a camera view from <gasps> overhead. Really? So, yes, it's awesome. So please go watch oh. that. It's so inspiring. So definitely yes. I'm watching that yes. ASAP. Yes. yes. Very good. Okay. Oh, I did buy one shirt. Peace on Earth by the Blue Flower. Oh. Isn't that for gorgeous your for my Christmas? Christmas? I love that. Look at this. Yes, I love that. It's gorgeous. The, the, I love that. Just gorgeous. Yeah. I wonder if it's a um, series because it says Language of Flowers, Peace. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay, what else do I have in here? Oh, yeah. Then I couldn't find my chart to bring with me. And it's yes. stitched with DMC. And, and look how beautiful it is. It's just gorgeous. Beautiful. I couldn't find my chart by Needlework Press of Mary Carr at home. I mean, I know I have it, but I found the chart there, so then I got the thread so oh, I can start that. That's pretty. Yeah. I love that one. Mary, Mary Carr, Carr is a big mama. Yeah. Big mama. Yeah. So, okay. And then... Um, House of Stitches is great because they have a wall of linen and you can just, and it's all categorized and you can just go look through stuff. And I found this piece, it's called Chocolate Mousse. Mm. And it's um, by We Will Die For You. And they are local dyers. Well, they're Indiana oh, dyers. Okay. So okay. they had several colors. That's pretty large. Yes, and I wanted to say, because Sarah said they're very, very nice ladies. Um, their names are Amy and Michelle. One lives in Chesterton, and one lives in Fort Wayne. Oh, very close. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. I'm going to have to check that out. Yeah. We will die for you. Yes. Die, D-Y-E. Like yes. Yeah. So I got that. Then we came back home. And my mom gave me this that she had stitched for me. Oh. Oh, by Judy. Mm -hmm. It's by oh. JBW. And That's I've beautiful. always loved this. On Lugano. Mm-hmm. 25 Laguna. count. Laguna. 25 count Laguna. It's gorgeous. Isn't it gorgeous? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get it framed. That is so sweet. Isn't that sweet? Yes. I love it so much. Thank you, Mom. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. I miss seeing your mom. Yeah. Well, we'll get together. Yes. Um, and we had a very good day because these new hearing aids, she played with all the adjustments. She said that she, she's, they're better. They're better every good. time. And good. we listen to music there and the way back. But on the way back, on the way there, we listened to Guy Lombardo and Glenn Miller and the Ink Spots. Which is good. I like that stuff. Yeah. But then on the way home, I unleashed some 70s classic ELO, Queen, Chicago, like Fleetwood Mac, you know, that kind of stuff. And she could hear it really well. And it's, she was like, woo, we were having fun. How Cause good. Because she brought the album ELO's uh, A New World Record. It came out, I think, in 1975. She bought it for my brother Todd and I for Christmas that year. And we listened to it ad nauseum, like, all the time. And I've been listening to it again a lot. Anyway, it was fun. Good. So it was a good day, and we just needed to kind of spend it together, and we did. When I worked in California yeah. 150 years ago, Fleetwood Mac was our client. <sighs> did you ever see any of them? I um, I talked to a couple of them. Really? Yes. Yeah. We took care of their bills. So. Cool. Their business management. A lot of names I could... Yeah, you could drop. I mean... I could... Drop them all, but who cares about that? That was a long well, time Well, I think we do. Ario Speedway. <gasps> Woo! Kevin Cronin. One. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gary Richrath, Bruce Hall. Oh, Gary. Oh, mm -hmm. Mike. And Mike loves Gary Richrath's playing. I mean, he was, like, amazing. Yeah. One of them recently died in the last four or five years. Yeah. I want to say um, Gary. But... Gary did die. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's move on. <laughs> okay. All right, that so was too long time ago. I know it's scary when you look at like the people you listen to. Okay, enough of that. Okay, Brenda. Okay, I'm going to talk about a couple things. I don't have a lot of stash. 
mm -hmm. which is good. But I do want to talk about Trelly. A lot of people have been mm. stitching her stuff. And I'm so happy for her. She has a YouTube, The Spanish Stitcher. Um, her designs are on Etsy, The Spanish Stitcher. And she released this new one for um, Halloween, for Valentine's Day. It's some people's Halloween. Yes. <laughs> it's just so beautiful. And I've seen a lot of people working on her samplers. Yeah, that blue um, house one? Yes. That's gorgeous. Um, Cindy C., I think, is working on one. I can't remember. And I know Kim Goldman's working on one. So I'm so excited for her. And these are beautiful. Gorgeous. I need to... Um, there's a couple she did with flower thread, so I need mm. to pull that out. Then I got, because I love all of these, I want to do them. Oh, um, look this at you. is uh, Winter Quaker by Primrose Cottage. Now, Sherry at the Colorado Cross Stitcher has done them um, and changed the colors, like just um, added color into them, and they're beautiful. So I think I, I'm not sure if I want to do them all one color or, you know, switch it up. But I love them. They're beautiful. And I just ordered the Valentine one. There's a Christmas, a winter, mm -hmm. the Valentine. There's several Did you see the them. sneak peek of the patriotic one? Color? Yes. <laughs> That's right up my alley. Mm -hmm. Then I got this by Lindy Stitches. I love that bird. Someone recently finished this on He's Australian. Instagram. What? That bird is oh, an is Australian it? bird. Yeah. Oh, I didn't mm -hmm. even read that. Yeah. Anyways, someone just finished this and it was super cute. It's really is. She's yes. really. Oh, it was April. April. Mm. I'll get to her in a moment. Um, April, my friend April on Instagram has a floss tube. If you follow her, it's April underscore heirlooms. Here is, Laura did this. Isn't that nice? She has a video now, too. And it's really good. She was very nervous the first time. But, but she didn't I hope she, No, didn't I hope office. she comes back and shows a lot of her beautiful stitching because it's just wonderful. And she's um, on Instagram has posted all her whips at the end of the year. And they're beautiful. She did... Um, was that Jane Hopkins? I um, oh. it's just gorgeous, just gorgeous. So please go give her a watch on Instagram, on Floss YouTube, tube. and follow her on Instagram. You will not be disappointed. No, you will not. Then I got this. Me too. Mine came. It was soaking wet because we have a huge mailbox, but. The mailman puts nothing, no package goes in there. And it sits usually on my porch, which is fine. But it was raining terribly. So, is fortunately, it okay? Nicola put them in these yeah. bags. A Stitch in Time Saves Nine. This was released to, um, exclusively to A Stitch in Time in Tasmania. Mm -hmm. So, isn't that beautiful? I cannot wait to start this. I love it. You order through a stitch in time um, on their website, but if Nicola will send them because it's less expensive for postage. Here's the centerfold. Yes, it's beautiful. This is the kind of centerfolds we like. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Mm -mm. Yeah, I love that. Oh boy, that's a goodie. Oh, speaking of exclusives. Hands across. Oh, yes. Let's exclusives. talk about that one first. Yes. Whoa. Happy House has an exclusive with Hands Across the Sea. Um, you have to understand, Nicola explained it as a, like a little girl coloring with fabric and thread. And there's only, I think, three colors in there. Mm -hmm. Three. And it's very, very different. But I think because it's so different... I just love it. Um, it's called A Present for a Friend, mm -hmm. 1864. It's exclusive to Hobby House. Mm -hmm. They will sell you just the booklet or they will sell you the booklet and kit it up with whatever you want yes. and whatever kind of throws. DMC, 103s, I think Swatage. Yeah. yeah. 
I am so, I remember when Nicholas showed yes. this on yes. a floss tube yes. like a long time ago, yes. and I was like, ha ha ha. Yes. And I like the idea of it. this little girl. She even spelled friend wrong. Yeah. It's so cute. So go check it out. Um, mm -hmm. I just think the story behind it mm -hmm. and the unusual um, aspect of it right. makes it fun. Yes. Um, and Nicola's video today, she talks about it. In okay. Her floss tube. Um, so you can see that. And she showed another sampler that uses motifs that are just like this. So it looks like it was you know, of a certain school or mm -hmm. type. Mm -hmm. And the other sampler she has that uses some of these motifs is so darling too. I will hope to stitch that someday. Can you blow that middle part up? Because that would make um, Nicholas so a great like little pin cushion or a needle book or it's just, it's just sweet. It's such a, I, I mean, when I first saw it, I was, yeah. enamored by it so I cannot wait to get it and that we'll be starting that stat I love the idea of the coloring yeah to me that's what it reminds mm -hmm. me of so yeah so hobby house yes um the next exclusive um if you have to be on Facebook and it's um homespun needlework cross stitch and samplers is the name of the Facebook group and I know a lot of people don't do Facebook, but go on there just so you, you, you can, can just join one group if yes. you want. Yes. And ignore everything else. Exactly. You don't have to go on there. I go on there for the stitching only and that's it. So anyways, this is the big, awesome project that's been in the works for a long time. Um, Julie Corsave is the um, admin of the group and she... And Needlework Press, and then two shops released Charlotte Warrington by Needlework Press. This is the antique. It is awesome. It is huge. Huge. Now, see this over one here? Um, Needlework Press charted it as well for over two. So it's going to be, you know, not as much verse, but you can do it over two. So you can do it just like the antique, or you can do it on Ada or linen like me and not do the over one, just do the over two. Mm -hmm. The chart is gorgeous. Vicki and Megan always do fabulous charts. So join the Facebook group, um, Homespun Needlework. And you can, you have to order through there. You can't go to the shops. Colorado Cross Stitcher is the one from the U.S. And then there's the, the um, Stitcher's Merchant in Australia. Australia. So, but you have to go to Facebook to get the link. Yeah, you, you have can't. to join the group and yes. then the link is in the group. Yes, you can't just bypass but that. It's easy to do all yes. that. Very, Especially very easy. easy to do to get something like yes. this. Yes. Now, see this? Mm-hmm. Then, oh boy, look at that. Look at that fabulousness. Yeah. And then, this is what it's done on. This is Mason Linen. It is Sewing Box Medium Light 40 Count. Gorgeous. There's many different options for you to get. Look at that. That is just stunning. Stunning. So this is the sampler. It's hard to imagine all these colors because this is, again, the antique that's shown wear and everything. But, oh my gosh, it's this gonna is be so amazing. beautiful. So beautiful on that linen. So is that a half yard? Yes. That you and need for 40 count? Yes. Now let me show you with Mason linen. I think Nicholas showed this. But they wrap it with tissue paper in between. I just think that's awesome. You just like the rustling. I do. Mm -hmm. I do. It's just yeah. See that? Mm-hmm. Lots of rushes. That's beautiful. And then, as a bonus, we get this. That's Kathy Ray at Needle in a Haystack did this. And 
the reason why they chose the cream is so all these gorgeous colors oh, in the cream fun. tray. Fun, fun, fun. And then this is my favorite. <laughs> Besides the sampler. Mm -hmm. I love stuff like this. Mm -hmm. I love it. And that was a little thank you card. That was a thank you card. And it shows mm -hmm. homespun. See, there it is. There's the Facebook group. Homespun needlework cross stitch and samplers. Colorado Cross Stitchers US and the Stitchers Merchant is Australia. So go, 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 go. It's not a long term project, and uh, I'm not gonna, I don't think it's been announced yet who the um, stitching leader is, the stitch along leader is, but she is amazing. And we can do it in parts and finish it. Oh, so in there is two gonna years. be a stitch along mm -hmm. in to finish it in two years or whatever. Oh, I don't know. Okay. I but somebody's going to go do this and this. Yes. Oh, that's There will be assignment stitching. Oh, good. Okay. So, or if you want to plow through and finish it all, you know, you know, whatever sure. floats your boat. Mm -hmm. But the person doing the stitch along is awesome. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. Okay. Yep. 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 I ordered some, a PDF from oh, good. Crochetta A Go Go. It's another Christmas thing. I just I loved know. this. Yeah. I actually think I want to do it without the words on the top and just do a little scene of the front yeah. door. I like the um, light. I for know. The lantern. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. So that was from Etsy. So that's fun. And what else did I want to say? Oh, yeah. After you got back from Sample Symposium. Symposium. Yes. Uh, there, and you guys probably know all this already, but anyway, I just wanted to say again that there was two floss tubes that were really great. One was Catherine Adrian stitching in costume. Her wrap up of Sampler Symposium was really, really, really mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. So go watch her on YouTube. I did. Good. And then um, our friend Susan Stanley, A Stitch in Time, she had that wonderful interview with the two stitchers. And then with Jean. And so you can go watch that, please. You can get the um, essence of the wonderful lady that Jean is in that interview. Yeah. For sure. Also, I want to mention another floss tube that I've come across recently. That it's not new, but it's new to me. Mm -hmm. And that's Chantel yes. from 141 Design Company. Her floss tubes are so amazing. I love them very, very much. She does something called a vlog every now and then. Mm -hmm. V-L-O-G. Okay. It's like watching a TV show about stitching because she, I don't know how she does it, but it's produced like a TV show. Like she's got different angles and different, it's mind blowing. It's so good. It's amazing. So go check those out because I, I mean, I just, it made me think about the fact that we need a TV station devoted to cross stitch and just, I mean, can you imagine how cool it would be like to have somebody who actually produced these yes. things like in a great way, like, you know, like shop tours and what's coming next and yes. like different people's uh, floss tubes. I want a I channel about cross stitch, darn it. Well, we, that's kind of what floss tube is. I know, very I know, but I want to take it up a notch. Yes, I yeah. get it. I yeah. get it. We need so. to hire some pr directors, producers. Mm -hmm. Martin Scorsese. We need um, <laughs> PR people, too. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yes, indeed. So, okay. Words of wisdom? Yes. Okay. This, I put all my words of wisdom. I'm just going to show the charts. Okay. Um, this is the berry bag that was made for it right and there's a sweatshirt too that barry has isn't that interesting that we um that you wore that well not, we had not talked really about this words yeah. of wisdom so it was perfect mm -hmm. so let's go through what's in here and again i think there's only one chart and i can't remember which one that will be released so oh, okay. if you didn't get the box you know sorry mm-hmm this one, I love that. Just so sweet. Elizabeth 
call, Waste Not, Want Not. These were all based on words. I love this one, too. Mm -hmm. Wisdom. Yeah. Sarah Butler. Need to stitch every single one of them. Yep. I have an idea for a lot oh, of I love this so. one. Yeah, this one. Honesty is the best policy. Look at that and those colors. Yes. This would go so good with Dorchy. Um, Samson. Look. Yeah. Maybe this. Oh, yeah. See, that would look beautiful on there. Mm -hmm. It's only two colors. Yeah. Plum. 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 And turquoise. Mm. I love that. Fanny Wilson. Mm. Oh, I love that name. Truth and Sincerity. That one's so They're cute. not big. These no. are not big at all. I don't know what's in here. Yeah, this is not a chart. Here's the one that Laura's doing. Lost. Mm -hmm. I love that. Are you going to do it? Yes. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, then this, this, this blew her mind. Well, blew yes. my mind too. It's just, but like, it just, wow. when I opened this, yeah, I was like overcome. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I was, mm -hmm. I was, these are the smalls. Look at those. So they take words. Yes. Of wisdom. Mm -hmm. And she made smalls. They're just harp ATM. Um, let me see. I have to look at them. Home is where the heart Love is. Love counts. Um, yeah. What's this one? I like that one. Speak kindly. Mm -hmm. They're just beautiful. They're just amazing. They're all in this book. Yeah. That was it. very exciting. <sighs> cease to do evil. Yes, please. Let's all cease that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this one's oh, so pretty. This is gorgeous. Clara Ann Easingwood. Gorgeous. Let me see. What does it say at the bottom? A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. Ooh, that's true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I wonder if Kim Goldman got the box because that's all pink. She would love that. Be kind to each other. The night's coming on when friends and brothers' pensions may be gone. Be kind to one another. I like that. That's another one that's right in my alley right mm -hmm. now with all the different alphabets. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one. This one, Sarah Burt. Oh boy, that's so gorgeous. This is pretty huge, big because huge. this book is pretty thick. Yeah, but it's so yes. pretty. That's yes. the one that the wisdom apron, and us, your, wisdom and understanding. Yeah. Apron is done from that. Yeah, how much better is it to get wisdom than gold and to get understanding rather to, rather than to be chosen than silver? 1841, she was 10 years old. Red and green, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So anyways, there are several in here that I am, that are gonna be on the lines of those, the ones I'm doing right now, the small ones that I'm not gonna get framed. Yeah, um, and that someday you'll tell us what you're doing with yes, them. Yes, okay. you'll see. You'll see. So, okay. Anyways. That's, I put them all, I saved the box, of course I saved yeah, the box. Yeah, I was gonna wonder. But I put them all, in yeah. here so I could easily get to it. That's and I smart. took out, I did throw out all the envelopes um, that they came in. Yeah. For okay. The most part. Well, that yes. makes sense. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Remember last time when we were at two hours? Yes. And we had to quit because it was so long. And I left bags here? Yes. Okay. So, yes, that will be our grand finale. No, this is going to be. Oh, yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Okay. So, um, remember I got that idea from Samantha Hughes. Yes. Her, her video to have, um, well, she was doing 10, I don't know why it says 10 in there, but she was dividing her projects into starts, middles, and finishes. So, that's kind of what I wanted to do was get mine organized into that kind of thing so that when I wanted, 
like pick one for February that I'm going to work on towards the finish that I have it. So I brought them okay. with me. And so let's see. We can look and yes. Brenda can categorize for us. Okay. Okay. It's kind of like that Karen recovering monogamous stitcher. Yeah. She has a focus piece. And it's the oldest whip, and she works on it for seven days a month until it's done. Ooh. It's a good idea. It's a great yeah, idea. That is a great idea. Yeah. Go ahead, sir. Okay. All right, so here in my Shakespeare and Company bag, I brought... Let's got see. Lots I of didn't bags, peek. So. Laura told me oh. I could peek oh, it. Oh, you though. didn't? I didn't. Hashtag mature. Okay, well... I like it when you show them. Okay. So then I can get... All right, I haven't even started this one, so obviously this is going to go in the starts. Yes. I love this one. I know. Bye. Janet Scott, 1857 by Sylvia, running with needles and scissors. Mm -hmm. This is a Scottish sampler, and I got it with the Vicki Clayton silks. Very pretty. So, which is what Sylvia calls for. That is mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is definitely, this will be yeah. our starts bag. Okay. Now, you can only get so many in here, dear. I know. I know. Um, Caroline Carter, 1823. This is by Annie, the proper stitcher. And I have it kitted with the NPIs. Oh, I like that a lot. Yeah. So that goes in the starts, starts. bag. Okay. This must have been, I must have put maybe all Maybe you would categorized it. I did, maybe this bag I did. Okay. She's, Laura's got another huge bag in a box. Yeah. And, oh, um, yeah. I didn't bring any more, I don't think. Anyway, oh, I love this so much. This was in the sampler box from Kitten Stitcher, and it's by Needlework Press, and it's Maria Clark, 1846. Look how great and weird and wild that is. I think that um, Teresa is selling those separately on yes. her. Yes, I think you can get them from mm -hmm. Kitten Stitcher. Oh, look, I have... I put linen in here. I hmm. must have known it was going to be. Oh, it's from number 12. Wallaby. Oh, say. I love that. Did you see this? Mm hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I like that. That's beautiful. Oh, I think this is the one I want to start. Stat. That was in the Jessica Sweetwater Stitcher. Oh, her... did she finish it? No, okay. it's in her whips. Okay, this is giving me palpitations right now. Tree of Life Sampler. Mm -hmm. By with a needle and thread. And I do have the threads. So this currently getting me completely hepped is going to go in a bag over there. Thank you. Oh, this one too. <gasps> oh, goodness gracious. I've been wanting to start this for 80 years. This is by the Wishing Thorn and McFarland Sampler 1827. This is so cool. Look at that. Boya moya. And um, I have it. Oh, look at what I have it kitted with. I have it kitted with. A fat half of dirty teacup. It's like gold. Um, and I'm going to do it with DMCs. And I don't know if I picked a color. I guess these are all the same. Yeah. 3750. 3750. Oh boy. This thing is huge. This sampler is very, very large. Um, yeah, it is. Linda Wallace, um, when I last saw oh, yeah, her she was, she was on it. almost done with it and she finished it and Kathy Markham has it now oh mm -hmm. well, that's great mm -hmm. okay so that one <laughs> okay then there's this one Dutch 1861 Dutch Red House Sampler by Antique Sampler Shop love mm-hmm Nice big house. Mm hmm Beautiful. And I've got it with the DMCs and some linen in there. So, okay. This was definitely a... Like oh, like thank this. you. This is definitely the old... I haven't started these yet. This one... 
I love this. Don't you love this one? Yeah. Emily and Greenaway by 18 by 1884. No, by Hands Across the Sea. I love this. I've got the DMC. Yeah. Um, Lori Bilesma hand. finished that. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I think she had it framed at the attic because I think I saw it there. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So obviously that bag that's I did starts. have sorted. Yes. Okay. So that starts. Now let's see how many you had. Hold on. Okay. I will, will get your other crap out. Okay. One, two, <laughs> three. Four, five, six, seven. You only have seven, so you can add three more in here. Okay. Isn't that a cool bag? It is. Okay. Uh, let's see what's in here. You can see why we had to stop last time. This gives me anxiety. Does it? Well, you could go downstairs and I could pull stuff out and and lots of bags, but you just have it nicely organized. No, I don't have them in bags. Oh. No. Okay. I have many, many, many things kitted, started, and everything. So don't get the idea that I don't, please. Yeah, don't. <laughs> I'm not that mature. Yeah. Okay, what's in this bag? This is kind of fun. Because I don't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love this one. Charlotte love Frost. That. Yes. Of course. We've seen the original at Tanya's house. And mm -hmm. we've seen Carol finish hers. Mm -hmm. Okay, Beautiful. so let's categorize where this one's at. Brenda will be the judge of this. This is middle. Middle. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so I have a middle. Okay, middle. Uh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Tinny and Tunny bag. Middle. Oh, okay. This, this is when I was in my, oh, let's put them in plastic with three ring binders. Remember we were at Dying to Stitch and we were like, oh, we have Donna. To, yeah. Okay, this is Heartstring Samplery, Gather Ye Tulips. Now, this one's going to be interesting because I started it on 32 count. And at one point, I was like, I'm going to start all things over and I'm only stitching on 40. Well, guess what? I have a couple, th I have another thing I know for sure that I'm not restarting. And I was always going to restart this. But why? Why would you do that? Makes no sense. Look. No. no. What is my, what was my problem? I don't know, but I guess I didn't want to stitch with two strands, yes. but it's not that bad. I've done, no. I did it for that Prairie Schooler Santa thing and it was kind mm -hmm. of fun. So mm -hmm. this, that's a middle. That's a middle. But it's very close to, it's fun, isn't it? Yeah, you still have a long ways to go. So. Okay, it's a middle. It's a middle. Okay. You can only have 10 middles, so. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. 10 middles, 10 starts, 10 middles. Oh. And if you have some that are close to being finished, we'll categorize them in the get your mm -mm and gear. Yes. Okay. All right. Oh, this one. I have, I get palpitations over this. Kelly, our friend Kelly's finished this and it's hanging on her wall. It's, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, we got this at summer school like a long time ago. Mm-hmm. 2017 to be exact. Okay. I love it. And Long by the Scarlet House. Now, here's the scoops. The scoop -a dupes Why do you have two? Yeah, why do I have all this in there? Well, we'll just find out. First of all, the small that we got in class for that year, I'm almost done with that. It needs two more of these guys up here. So this is going to go in as a finish. You need to finish that. I need to finish I the small. I have this finished. I know, and it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I started the sampler, and I made a big mistake on one of these. Oh, goodness. Well, one of these has a big mistake, so I had to start it over. I don't know which is which, but I'm going to have to figure it out. So that's really in the start. Yeah, I was just going to say, this is in the, the start. The sampler is in the start. Yes. 
no but question. this small is in the finish. So I don't know what the heck you're going to do with this. Okay, so I don't know. Do I? Ha oh, I do. I probably have a separate. You do. Okay. So give me All that. Right. Right. Give me this. <laughs> oh, my God. I oh, here's like... the small. Okay. So that can go in your finishes. Yeah. So that's in a whole nother pile. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think we have anything in there yet. No, we don't. All right. So, so. You start a pile over there. Okay. This is going to go in your starts. Okay. It's a good thing Brenda's here, right? Boston. Boston. That's what around. I do best, as my family would say. <laughs> okay. Can you fit it in there? Because I've got another bag. No. Nope. You've got two more. And that's it. Okay. So oh. then you'll have to decide what is going to be your 10 then. If you have more, then you'll have to whittle that down. Ooh, whittling. Oh, boy. Okay. I love this. This is by Sambri Stitches. It's the Yeti sampler. Um, because I don't know why you haven't finished that. I don't either. It's ridiculous because I went ape over it the minute I saw it. Yeah. So let's see where I'm at. Oh, it's in this bag by Nicole's. Needlework yes. from Nicole. She hasn't posted it. I know, time. I miss my buddy. Okay, so it's kitted up with, ooh, I'm cool floss drops. Look at these. Oh, those are the coolest. Happy stitching, Leslie. Oh man, Leslie. Quilter on three on Instagram. Ooh. Okay. Um, oh, say. Okay. Middle. I'd say that's a middle. Yeah. But it's not a huge sampler, so. No, it's not. I could work on it towards a finish. Okay, then we're going to put it in the finish pile. Okay. It look so gorgeous. It is. Okay, and we and yes. we can put this in the bag with it so that it has a bag. Okay. Hang on. Okay. Oh, this goes with it too. I'm putting this behind here. Oh, you know what? The threads for that are going to be in the well, long. But I'll figure that you'll out. You'll figure that out. I can't be there every step of the way. <laughs> you could. You could come over every afternoon. Okay. This is Maria Finney by Shakespeare's Peddler. Our friend Lisa finished this. First of all, when I got this, I was like, mm, yeah, I like it, but I'm not crazy about it. Then I saw her finish of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was mind-blowingly beautiful. So, you know, because it's it's muted, right? But, boy, when it's finished, it's amazing. See, I carry this around <laughs> in here. Okay, so this is definitely a start. <laughs> yeah. A beginning. That's a start. Very so you've beginning. Got one more start. Mm. Okay. All right, there's that jazz. Oh, ba doo ba, -doo -ba. Okay. Oh, say. Jane Bowen, 1837. You were so excited when this came I out. I know. You were that's like my, off the rails. I know. That's my problem. I need to stick to some rails. Okay, this is by Stick Needlework. to your lane, as yeah. Penny would stay. This is Needlework Press. It's genius. It's like definitely the very definition of a weird sampler, which I love. And I say that in a positive way. Okay, let's see where we got when we were so excited. Oh, this is sad. This is so sad. This, uh, oh. That's ridiculous. What the heck? That's some BS right there. Right there. And it's just BS. Okay. So that's in the start lane. Is that it? Oh. Yep. Okay. That's it. Okay. If you have more starts. Then they have to wait. Then they have to, you just have to put them in the same pile. I can't even get this in there. Okay. Is, um. What did I do with my hobby house bag? Here. Oh, here. Okay. That's your start. Over there. Oh, put it all in here. Then you, if you have more, you're going to have to. Um, do something. You're going to have to decide this what be you better, like the better. Finish bag, I guess. This okay. Because it's smaller. Fun. Yeah. Don't mind us. But we've got to do this because 
you know, it's a thing I'm trying this year. Just laugh. Go have a drink. Go to the bathroom. <laughs> Don't leave a nasty comment, please. They won't. No. You know what? We are so lucky. And thank you. This will be our time to say thank you for thank all the you. wonderful comments. Because you guys are really great to us. So thank you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh. This is just real life happening. Yeah. As my daughter would say, is this real life? <laughs> and she's amazed at what's happening. <laughs> Which one? Megan. Okay. All right. Let's see here. This is, oh my, this is very wrapped up. I love this. I know. I have that finished. Did you mm -hmm. do? Mm -hmm. Finished? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, this is great. Good thing. Joy finished. Oh. Creme de la creme. Okay, let's see how far I am. Oh, oh, not bad. That's a medium. Okay. That'll go in this pile. Right okay. Here. Medium. And this is by, is this by Dot Dot Goose? I think it is. No, what is it? Wait, up here. Yeah, Dot Dot Goose. I love that bag. Yes, I do too. Oh, Denise has some great bags out right There's now. There's another one by... Dot, dot, and I'm trying to restrain myself. Yeah, well, I bet you won't. I bet you I won't either. <laughs> Just don't say it too loud. My husband's in the other room. Oh, is, did Rick get home? Yes. Ooh, I didn't even notice. Yes, I did. Okay. This is the Dutch is finish. 1808 sampler by, I know, look at that. Go ahead. From the, oh, I know. Look at that. From the heart needle art by Wendy. Wendy. Another one I went ape over. So I'm stitching this with the call for over dyed cottons on yellow clay by Fox and Rabbit. Oh, brother. That's a start. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just. Okay. That's. I'm laying down some bad words. She's laying down some truths here, people. Okay. Thank you. Here's something that I, I've loved for 80 years. And I started it, stitching it with a friend a long time ago, Michelle Hudson of Sacramento, California. Even though she doesn't live there anymore. She lives nearby, but she's going to be still that. Bip. It's Berry Time by Blackbird Designs. Mm. Love that. Carol finished that. Isn't that amazing? And here's how far I got. I, I'm sure Michelle finished. I know she did. That's beautiful. Yeah. So that's a medium. Yeah. This is a start. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to put starts back down there. And this is a medium because yeah. the mediums are right here. Oh, I'm doing it. One of my favorites pomegranate by Channel Arts. This is like that vintage red to me. What's this bag? My fiddle feathers. feathers. Can you put this in the blackbird in that because I don't want it to go up against the vinyl and get, you know how sometimes, yes. you know what I'm saying? Yep. Okay. I love this bag. This is a bag that um, Belinda from Blue Ribbon Designs made. Mm -hmm. I sent her the fabric mm -hmm. and it's so cool. Okay, what's in here? Oh, I've always loved That's this. That's beautiful. This is by Heartstring Samplery. It's one of her older patterns. It's new every morning. It's an antique sampler. And... That's a middle. A middle, okay. Oh, goodness gracious. Can you imagine if I would have just kept stitching that? That's the back. Well, my backs look so good, don't they? <laughs> oh, say. Oh. <laughs> well, that does look better, doesn't it? This is on that um, hand whatever, like cross wing yes. linen. Yes, that you that I got at the attic. Attic. for yeah. the attic. Yeah. Okay, yes. that's the middle. Do you yes. have a middle area? Right here. Okay. 
Oh, we oh. could be the comedy show on the TV. Oh, that'd be great. Hey, wait a minute. Is that it? <laughs> wah, wah. Now, well, we are... That is it. Now, I could have uh, brought about how many bags? A hundred. Yeah. yeah. I have a Christmas It doesn't matter too, how but... many bags, and I'm going to... I'm going to yeah, okay. talk about that. In a All right, so that's middle. Yes. You've got three, two for finishing, one, two, one three, nine, four, four, middle. Oh, that's a start. Those are starts down there. So now what do I do? So now for you should try to get those two okay. finishes done. So in February, I have to do my assignment stitching with mm -hmm. Audrey, mm -hmm. another row on Marie Louise yes. Puree. And then my... Christmas ornament with Katie, mm -hmm. then this jazz. Those two. Yeah. And, um, okay. And um, then that's it. Don't worry about anything else for okay. right now because you'll get all food yeah, and know. won't do anything. <laughs> or you'll start something new. Well, I, I got this stuff here. So yeah. I, I want to like, yeah. Okay. And Mark, it's coming. Oh, cool. But I am going to try my very, very, very best to, to be intentional mm -hmm. and thoughtful on what I purchase. This so. is what we say every February. I know. But that's fine. And it all goes out the damn It does, but March. whatever. Whatever. It's, we love it and that's that. I forgot to show another finish I had. Oh! What? This is Home is Where My Samplers Are. Oh, you finished it. Now let me tell you what, what I did. Remember I told you I wasn't doing any over one on this thing. Yeah. And so Trudy on Instagram, and I'm not sure how to pronounce her last name, Start Gangora. Yeah. Yeah. And she finished this, and she didn't do any over one. So she, this is what she did in the little hoop. Oh, that is So dear. I asked her if I could copy it, and she said, of course. So that's what I did. And where did you get that little flower from out of your head? I... Blew up her Instagram. <laughs> smart, smart, and smart. Just stitched oh, right off of that. That's great. So, yep. Anyway, so I'm gonna be sending this off to Joy. That's so um, pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna wait till I get three or four things done. Yeah. And that was uh, by the Scarlet House, and it was from a retreat we went yes. to. But I'm sure Tanya will release it at some point, probably towards the end of the year. I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. So then there's. Um, these three things, some things that I want to concentrate on, these smalls. Here's this Autumn Quaker by Primrose. I love the pumpkin. And then these pairs, you know, Jean gifted us this um, summer school, or I can't remember. And summer I'd like school. to do it on different counts. You know, do one on like 40, one. I have some 48 I'd like to try, maybe one on 36. So, and then the blue, mm -hmm. the Anjou pairs, mm -hmm. and she's coming out with a new one. Annie B's? Yes. Another one. Yeah. Oh. And then this one is from Mojo Stitches. My, all my favorite threads are red. I love that. I just love that. And then this, this is by October House. Yeah. Oh, the itch to stitch. That's so Isn't cute. That sweet? So I pulled these smalls out because last week I went through some carts that I have down there from Ikea and kind of sorted them and so on and so forth and tried to pull out what I have kitted, what I have just the charts so I would be more organized. And I remember last time I showed those two Brenda Gervais um, new charts, Valentine's. And I was going to do a stitch along with Renee from Sailing Zoo to celebrate her birthday on February 1st. I cannot find those charts to save my life. So after an hour, I said, forget it. Order them again and they'll be here tomorrow. I will find the charts, I'm sure, but I'm not wasting my time I am. looking for them okay. anymore. I probably, when I was organizing... Organized a little bit too good. <laughs> uh -uh. Be that as it may. Mm -hmm. Then I do have a finish, a uh, fully finished. Yes. This is Elizabeth Hughes by The Wishing Thorn. 
done with flower thread. Framed by Bennett Gallery, Ramona. I love how she got it really tight. I love that. And you can see the um, ghost lettering and up there at the top. So, anyways, I just love it. And the birds and those little, whatever they're supposed to be. Someone said they look like cake stands. <laughs> but anyways. It's so beautiful. It. And the frame is perfect. And I had to do some finagling to get it hung up. Is it safe Which there? I'm going, okay. yeah. So are we done? Because I want to save this for last. Yes. Okay. So <clears throat> last week, um, my husband and I have decided that our crawl space, which is what we're, is underneath where we're at right now. It's concrete and there's a lot of stuff in there. And it's a pain in the neck to get to, but we've got to clean it out because he says he doesn't want to be 70 and getting into that crawl space because it's not easy. You kind of have to climb into it. You don't care about any of that. What I'm getting to is that when they started last week, my oldest daughter and my husband, they pulled out a lot of stuff and we went through it, Goodwill, trash, whatever. And there were these two things that this and this and I didn't know what they were from but Ashley said well mom you made those for us when we were kids as pins the pins are long gone see the yellow hot glue <laughs> and she they would wear them apparently on their Easter dresses at um, Easter so obviously I saved these, but in doing, seeing these and realizing the fact that I am running out of room, it's not going to change the, change anything that I am not going to stop stitching. I'm still obsessed with it just as I was 40 years ago. Um, I don't know what will happen when I do run out of wall space. I guess I'll just have to switch things around. I don't know, but this has been my life for 40 years, um, and this is what I want to be remembered for. It's my needlework legacy, and I've met so many wonderful people, mm -hmm. and in person, online, people from around the world, literally, and I will keep stitching. The idea of coming home and hearing that needle go through the thread, um, or go through the fabric mm -hmm. is just I can't you I can't stop and it does so my point is don't let the fact that do it because you love to do it whether you finish it or whether you can't frame it right now um, ginger and Tina had a great idea of framed piece of things to be framed they put on a quilt rack so you could see them. That's cool. um, if they're under the bed, pull them out. Put them on a table. Put them somewhere so you can see them. Um, because you enjoy doing it. Don't shove it away. Put it out and stitch. Stitch like you when you first did. Mm -hmm. That you loved it. Because mm -hmm. you will find space to put things. I will find places to put things. If I have to change the way I finish Mm -hmm. Um, just keep stitching the idea. It's just therapy. It it's, is. It is therapy and it's what I've done. And besides my daughters, it's what I want to be remembered for is mm -hmm. encouraging people, meeting people and stitching. And I can tell you if you look around at my stuff, when I stitched it, now these I couldn't remember, but I can tell you they were a long time ago because look at the back. I glued a piece of linen to the back. They're so, but I will keep these forever mm -hmm. because my daughter remembered what they were for, not me. So enjoy your stitching. Don't give it up. No. I can't imagine not stitching every no. day. Can you imagine? No. 
I mean, uh, we're both excited to get back in our chairs this afternoon. Yes, yes, and we're excited when we leave work. We don't, mm -hmm. we don't live to work. We work to live, mm -hmm. and that's so we true. live to stitch. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, and go to retreat. Go meet people, and whether we meet them online on Instagram or Facebook or at a retreat, mm -hmm. there's friendships formed and. Mm -hmm. You can't take that away. No. So, anyways, that's my spiel. Okay. I subscribe to that spiel. Totally. I knew you would. <laughs> I knew you would. That's how we got to, mm -hmm. how we met. Yeah. Is through stitching and a blog. And so mm -hmm. the internet is good for, you know. Yeah, it's good for that kind of thing. Yeah, absolutely. So, happy stitching. Yeah, happy stitching. And we'll, we'll see, see you in two weeks. weeks. Yeah. See you then. Bye. Bye.